Ariana Grande shuts down rumors on carpool karaoke. We'll tell you what those rumors were and what Pete Davidson said the day he met her. I'm Hunter March and you're watching The Daily Report. Our favorite queen, Ariana Grande, has finally made it to the big leagues. Carpool karaoke with James Corden. She's turned on our show a few times but this is also good for her, I guess. She had previously done an episode about a year ago, but it was for the show on Apple TV where she drove and sang show tunes with Seth MacFarlane. But now she's finally doing it with James himself. The two sang God is a Woman, Side to Side, No Tears Left to Cry, and Dangerous Woman. We were treated with incredible performances from both, and Ariana even went the extra mile and riffed hard taking James by surprise. The two then proceeded to get a little real. James asked her the strangest thing she's ever read about herself in the tabloids and Ariana said it was all of the pregnancy stuff. She claims every other week there's a rumor that she's pregnant. She then brought up the rumor that she insists on being carried everywhere and Ariana cleared that up real quick. She said there's one photo that was taken of her being carried by her tour manager because she had shot a video in point shoes and her toes were bleeding. She posted the photo because she thought it was cute. And from there, the rumor that she demands to be carried was born. James asked if it was true and Ariana said, no, that's so stupid, are you crazy? Further poke fun at this insane rumor, the two stopped at a Starbucks where James carried Ariana on his back as she ordered a soy latte. And the size? You guess it, it's a grande. While in the coffee shop, she would yell out at the patrons saying this is how she travels, always being carried because, quote, that is just the kind of pop star I am. I don't know if she did the tongue out thing, but I did. That's kind of my thing. While Ariana was having the time of her life with James Corden, Pete Davidson was being interviewed by GQ about his relationship with his fiance. He opened up about the first time they met, saying, the day I met her, I was like, hey, I'll marry you tomorrow. Pete said he began to send her photos of engagement rings when Ariana tried to call his bluff, but eventually she sent back her favorites and his response was, sick. That's insane. Now the two are happily engaged and living in a $16 million apartment in New York. That's how you do a whirlwind romance. Now we loved the episode of Carpool Karaoke and can't wait to see Ariana doing more press as her album release creeps closer. But now we wanna know what you guys think. If you could see Ariana and Pete Davidson have their wedding officiated by any celebrity, who would it be? Let us know in the comments down below and as always make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. I'm Hunter March. That's it. Okay.